Hey guys, it's Lomo here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Apple's fairly new iPod Touch 6th Gen. So it's been about two or three years since Apple made a refresh to their iPod Touch lineup, so what's new? Well, for starters, they bumped up its specs to make it pretty snappy and quick, and I've gotta say that during my time with it, scrolling through apps and web surfing was a pleasant experience. Unless you're using it heavily, like a daily driver or something, or doing heavy gaming, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with the device getting hot or having any lag. Apple also jacked up the camera game from 5 to 8 megapixels with an f2.4 aperture, just falling short behind the iPhone 6. I don't have too many pictures to show you guys, but I can tell you that just like any other Apple device, it performs pretty well, especially in well-lit conditions. It's pretty quick to focus and take pictures too. As you can tell, Apple kept, kept the same design as the 5th generation except for removing that loop on the bottom corner. In my opinion, that was a pretty good call by Apple because it was kind of useless. They also added a new color option, which is gold. I think everybody would have loved to see Touch ID on this thing, but it probably would have added more money to its somewhat overpriced price. And since it's not meant to be used like a phone, it would just kind of seem pointless including it there. So just like most Apple products, battery life is its Achilles heel. If I were to replace this with my phone and use it as a, a daily driver uh, every day, it would probably only last me three to four hours on a full charge, which is kind of bad in my opinion. So with using this thing for about a month, I can tell you that this would be a great designated media player for a person who either can't afford a phone or just needs it for media consumption. But honestly, if you have a cell phone that has over 16 gigabytes of storage, this thing might just be useless to you because it, you would have to carry around two devices in your pocket. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this short quick review. If you liked it, be that one cool nice guy who gives it a thumbs up down below. And if you watched the video all the way up to here, make sure to comment Zooli down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.